So uh, because today the Python Sprints, we will be working on the documentation. So I'm um, just going to quickly show you the, um, the documentation uh, site that we have built um, using Sphinx. So um, yeah, so this is the, uh, I want to show you this. Um, you can see on the right hand side that uh, we have the browser window here. So that is our terminus uh, client Python. So this one that I'm showing you is actually generated um, locally, but it's the same um, for the um, online one. It's uh, the same that is built from Sphinx. It's um, Python library that uh, is very popular. What it does, it will um, go through your um, package, uh, your library that uh, will grab all the doc strings that it has um, there. And then it will automatically generate it, um, the this documentation. Uh, it will generate all the first uh, from the doc strings. It will become an RST file. And then after the RST file, it will be generated as an HTML. So um, I got to do something very dangerous today. I got to see if I can um, change the CSS of this um, web page. So um, yes, it's OK, Eddie. Thank you for coming, Eddie. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so yeah, I got to see if I can change the CSS of this because uh, we will launch our documentation officially very soon. Uh, we will have uh, official link from our documentation page to this um, API documentation. So I want to make sure that the CSS of both pages are matching. So the color scheme and everything is going to match. Maybe I want to change this cow deck uh, into our official logo. So to make it more um, official, um, we love the cow duck, but it's more for a community mascot rather than our official logo. So um, see if we can change that. So I just found that um, from um, the documentation of uh, Reader Docs, uh, it's very nice. I recommend you go there to see because it teach you a lot of um, Spanx basic. Uh, you can, of course, go to the documentation of Spanx, uh, but for a starter, I think uh, Reader Docs give you a very good um, documentation to start with. They also help you to host. Uh, if you're an open source project, you can host on their website. But uh, for us, Terminus DB, we would going to um, build it using Travis and then put it on our GitHub pages. So we self hosting it. Um, but it's another option you can do um, just, you know, you can um, go to read the doc and see how you can let them build it for you. Um, it's very easy. You just need to set up um, the hooks and it's, it will just um, go from there. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, adding custom CSS. So uh, let's have a look to see how much I can do within uh, half an hour <laughs> before we run the sprint. So let's hope, uh, wish me luck. So um, yeah. Yeah, there's another event tonight. So uh, there's a lot of things going on tonight, So, which is exciting. It's good. So yeah, um, so uh, we have this config file. So actually, we can go to the config file and actually add the static path here. So let's check what we have, because I have not worked on this project for a while. I was working on the other documentation page. But let's see, this is our config file. So we have all these things done. Um, you can put down the version number here. Um, you can also. Um, this is very important when you run uh, make the doc uh, because um, I think the default is not indexed, but when you start as a project, it's index.rst. So you want to make sure that it matches. Otherwise, you won't be able to find um, to build a website successfully. And also the extension, this is mainly um, for uh, our doc string style. So Napoleon uh, usually is the basic setting. It will render um, mat, um, not markdown, but uh, uh, NumPy style documentation and Google style documentation um, both successfully. So it's quite a good one. Uh, we use NumPy style in um, Terminus DB Python client um, because I like NumPy style. <laughs> so um, the, uh, and this is the same as P uh, Pandas, which is another library that I love. So that's why we do that. So yeah, and um, let's see. Uh, OK, we have um, exclude patterns. It's not important. Autodoc default options, we have that. And we have the theme. Oh, yeah, so this is the read the doc theme. So we also have it in the plugin as well. So um, you can see the uh, previously that I show you this theme that we have. Um, yeah, this is uh, actually the read the doc template. You must, if you read a lot of, you know, if you have been using Python for a while, you see a lot of libraries that, um, yeah, they all use this uh, template. It's quite neat. It's nice, but we want to customize it um, to be more terminus DB. So, yeah. Yeah. So um, let's see. 
Okay, we are looking for that static files, right? So um, we have these options. Oh, actually, you can customize here a little bit the background color. So maybe we start from here that we want to change it into um, our theme color. So if I remember correctly, actually, I got a cheat because I got to look at our um, block um, blocks code. Just give me one sec so I can find uh, the color from our block to make sure that it matches. So uh, not the block, actually, it's the doc. Sorry. I built a lot of web pages recently, so I'm a bit um, confused myself. <laughs> so yeah, let's go to the um, to, to do the customization of our um, other documentation pages. So uh, we have defined a blue color that is terminus db blue. I would say um, it's a very nice color. I love the color. Uh, right. Oh, so yeah, this one. This one is our theme color. So I gotta put it here. So this is a darker blue. You'll see um, if I build it again. But let's see. We can also change the logo. So um, instead of the cow duck, we can actually change it to our. I would use the one that because this uh, this background is kind of like a darker shade of blue. So um, to make the logo visible, I will use the white logo that we have. So let me see if I can find it from the blog page as well. Um, I'm doing a lot of digging. Uh, from my other repo. Uh, let's hope that it works. Hmm. Right, so we have this right, a beautiful, beautiful um, uh, white color logo. So we would put it in the static or oh, hide this bar, but um, yeah. So yeah, we have a lovely cow duck here. You can see that, but we want to replace it. So let me paste the file here. So we have a new. This is our logo that I want to put um, on the new web page, a uh, new um, look. So let me copy the name, actually. The trick, what I got to do is I just gotta copy. And I got to go to the config file and see here. Oh, yeah, we have this. This is what we were looking for, but it's fine. Let me just replace the logo for now. Sorry, I'm not very organized, you can see. <laughs> right, so um, we have the logo, we have this static uh, favorite coin. I'm happy with our favorite coin, it would be our um, our logo. Uh, I'm hiding it as well. It's super crowded, this um, screen, because <laughs> this is how I work, right? I usually have so many screens open, and all my colleagues laughed at me because of that, uh, but this is my life. <laughs> so, right, um, yeah. And then what else we can do? So let me go back to the documentation to see uh, what else we can fix. Uh, so we can actually add this one, right? So we already have this. We go through the source code and then we found it is here. So we have this, but we need to add this um, HTML, CSS um, file. So let me copy this and I'll paste it in our file. So right, uh, lots of copy and pasting. Uh, so uh, what it says is like it will look up this um, the directory CSS and custom.css. That's uh, where we put our custom CSS. So it, it will go on top of the theme. Um, if you don't do anything, the theme will be the theme. That's fine. But um, if you want to override some options, you can do it here. So this is uh, what the documentation tell me to do. So let me see. Um, so we should put this in the static. So let me make a new file, new folder actually. So we'll call that CSS. Right, so um, let's create a new file. Oh my God, this is super messy. <laughs> I have so many tab open. I always, you know, um, put myself into danger zone because of that. <laughs> so okay, I open a new file here, so we can have a new CSS. Um, so how to start with, I think what I gotta do, um, instead of starting from blind, I would go to my page, and then I would dig through the, um, I would dig through the uh, CSS of this. So what I gotta do, actually all web developer knows that you can actually open an inspection window from I'm using Chrome, so it's like actually from if you go to your Chrome menu, it's like view and developer, and then you can inspect elements. If it works, I think I misclick it. Okay, let me do it again. Right. Ooh, it's going crazy now. Sorry. Uh, I think I have this open. This is actually a preview of um, of your phone. 
<laughs> so uh, it's it's quite neat. That's why I like it. Um, you can actually make the screen super narrow, so it become kind of the look of um how it will look like if you have your phone. So uh, this is also a too narrow view. So let me kind of try get put this cow duck back in. Right. So I gotta um pug around and see. Actually, I want to the first thing I want to do. I want to change this color. Um the color gray here on the content menu here um, let's see what I can do about it so right if I click on let's say here um, right if I click on here so I can see the source code of it um, from the inspector so what I can do is I gotta look at the name of this um, this box so um, you can see that this I already said the background color of this so this is not what I want to change I think um, yeah I think maybe the the gray because like this is another element below it so maybe the gray is coming back from uh, their parents uh, so maybe I have to go for it up yeah maybe it's this one so if I click on it right it's called um, WY size grow and let me look at what they have so yeah right yeah, so you can see that this may be the box that we want to change. So let's uh, give it a try. Um, but actually, this uh, why this is not covering the whole thing? Let me just go one more up, maybe this one. Right, let me see. Right, maybe this one is the one that we want to talk about. Yeah, this one. Okay, so it's WY uh, nav shift uh, data toggle. Uh, nope, the class is WY nav side. So WY nav side. So let me put it here. So wy nav side uh, oh my god why am I in caption mode <laughs> oh my god uh, right so um, what I can do is like I can change the background color so let me see um, yeah let me double check the co background color here from the inspector um, so yeah yeah, they have these um, gray color that I can confirm. The code is 343131. Um, sorry, I put my face too close to the screen. I'm using a big screen, so it's like further away, and I don't have a very good eyesight. So, yeah. Uh, right, so somebody just poked me um, on my Slack. <laughs> I am so busy, sorry. <laughs> like, many distractions in life in general. Okay, background. So I gotta make the color to be our lovely terminus DB dark blue. So actually I forgot it already. So let me co go here and copy it. Right, our new document. So let's see, I don't need two hashes. And remember to put the semicolon at the end. This is CSS. Okay, so let's save this file. Oh, come on. Right, okay. So uh, remember we want to put it in the CSS, right? So let's find it. So we are in Terminus DB, go to dark. Uh, you may not be able to see it, but I am poking around trying to find it. This is from the build, no, from the source. The build is the result. Static, CSS, yes. So we have custom.css. Okay, so, so far so good. We have done some changes. So let's see if it works. It may not work. This is my first time <laughs> um, doing this. Uh, it's like kind of like a blind uh, run of a game. So um, if I made a mistake and die many, many times, you have to bear with me. This is um, a less code. It's a blind less code. I haven't practiced it. So um, yeah, let's uh, go to our terminal window. So what we can do is actually I've set up. Oh, we're in docs already. So in docs, you can just like make because um, um, when I set up the project it already has the make file so what you have to do is just like make html actually i didn't set it up myself is um when you do um a spain's quick start it will initialize your project for you with this make file so every time you just need to find this make like at the same directory of this make file and then just type make html and that's it so it will all you can see in the terminals it's like running 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 very busy it's building um everything right now 
So yeah, so it's t it tell me that it's like uh, at build. So if I go back to this page, uh, as I told you, this is uh, actually my local page. So this is um, the index HTML inside the build HTML. So if I refresh it, it should reflect some changes. Yes, it works. <laughs> I'm so happy. Like I wasn't expecting this to work. Oh my god! I'm so happy. I'm the happier person in the world. It needs some polishing because um our logo looks a little bit blurry. I don't know why. Maybe it's stretching. So maybe I have to use the um CSS to make sure the size doesn't go too big. But hey, um we have the color that we're working. So next step, I want to do. I want to change all this into the um maybe this. Uh, into the green color because this is not not very a uh, big contrast here. It's difficult to see. Um, and also this gray, maybe I want to change it into our terminus until, yeah, this white is too abrupt as well. So I may want to change the color of this. So this may be the light blue that we have. And um, so and all these will be um, change it to till. So yeah, I think cause I have to get ready um, for the London Python Sprint. So I'm afraid I can't do the whole thing with you. I will do it tonight um, in my bed <laughs> before I go to bed um, to make it look nice. So I can incorporate all your hard work if you contribute to our documentation. I would love to see all this. Uh, I'm so happy. Uh, yeah, so. Um, if you want to contribute to not just Terminus DB but any open source project, especially Python open source project, um, go to um, our Python Sprints website. You can find us on meetup.com. Uh, we are London Python Sprints. You can find us, um, actually we have a GitHub site that I forgot the URL. <laughs> actually, actually I can find it for you so I can read it out for you or I would put it in the description if you're watching the um, the video after like w when I upload it to YouTube afterwards but let me see yep so our website is python hyphen sprints uh, s p r i n t s dot github dot i o so all our sprints will be uploaded there you will see when we have a meeting um now all the meeting will be done remotely so you can join um we have a discord server um that you can join as well um and so just hop over there go or go there <laughs> i can actually open this for you because i'm showing the browser, the, the browser. so yeah this is the private screen website uh, and you can see that we have a meeting tonight that we are gonna work on the terminus db documentation so all your hard work will go to that beautiful um python api website that generated by Spain um very soon so i'm working on it and also we have another project, it's the Django project that um, my friend is uh, maintaining. It's very exciting. If you are a you know, Django guru, definitely we need your help. <laughs> so yeah, if you click on it, we have a lot of information. Um, so tonight we're using Zoom for our meeting because um, we don't have physical meeting at the moment. We just uh, have the comfort of staying at home and doing it. We also have a Discord server that you can join. Um, to contribute, um, but make sure that you follow the code of conduct of NumFocus, and that's it. Um, yeah, I have to leave now, so I'll leave you there, and I will see you very soon, because I promise every Friday I would do a little bit of um, more knowledge sharing. So, yeah, see you. Bye. <laughs>